Hello everyone. So this will be the sixth video in the series for Access 2003 and most probably the last video. In this video I wanted to introduce to you the concept of relational database. Uh, you'll find that in the real world uh, very few companies and uh, people would tend to have only one table in their database. Usually uh, there will have bunch of tables. There will be like combinations of tables and fields from one table will be connected to another one. So first I'll go ahead and open my file, the contact list, and I'll click open and I've got my switchboard which I talked about in the fifth video. I'm just going to close this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new table to show you the idea but let's understand the basic concept behind relational database. I'm not an expert on this but I want to give you an enough introduction that you understand the concept. Uh, say for example you work uh, you have a cell phone you have a internet connection and you have a cable connection and you also have a home phone and all of them is with one company so if you decided to change your address or any information you don't have to call all the four different departments you only have to call one time and they make one change and all the departments are updated and the reason why this works is because they have a separate table for a customer information. So in that table, they only have information about customer's address and things like that. Then they'll have another table, which will be for internet connection and details about your plan and the price and service started and all of that stuff. Another table for cell phone, another table for home phone. And all of these tables are connected to your customer information table so that when somebody looks at that information they'll be able to see what all your services that you have so if they go to the customer information table they'll be able to see that you have all these other services with them so if you go to a bank you know you talk to them and they look into your account and they can see that you have a savings account with them they have a credit card with them you have a loan with them or something like that so they can see all that information because of the concept of relational database and what I'm going to do is here I just going to introduce the simplest concept behind relational database so I'm going to create another table in design view and what I want to do is I want to create a list of um, kids name that my friends have so up here if I wanted I could start with child name as the field name which will be the primary key I can set it to the primary key or I could again start with the option of child ID and I can set the data type to say number or just I can set it to auto number but if you wanted to and if you thought that oh the names won't be repeated much which is a big if you could do it differently so it's up to you how you want to do that I just deleted that so I'm going to do it with child name and the data type I'll keep it as text I'll hit the primary key to make it primary key I'll hit save and I'll call it um, kids list so up here in this table I'm going to try to collect information about the kids of my pair of my friends after that say I want to know their date of birth so the date of birth data type is date and time and in the bottom for field properties I'll set format which is how do you want to see your date I'll say you know what show it to me long and click next input mask start the wizard yes to saving and I'll say I want to enter medium okay uh, let's see, I want to know their parents' name. Parents. Or parent. Now, what I want to do is I want to link this field to the field in the other table. So, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to open this contact list. I want to link it to this first name or the last name. So, I want to link to the name so I'll be able to see the relationship. So, I'm just going to close this. Bring this back up. So what I have to do is I start the lookup wizard and I'm going to use the first option because it says I want to look up a column or a value in a table or a query. So I'm going to click next and I want to connect it to this table contact list one. Next 
and I'll just say you know add the first name and the last name so I'll be able to see it and you'll see that in a few minutes what I mean by this I click next next there's the list of all the names I've entered in the other table next and I hit finish and I say yes to saving okay and after that if I wanted I could have a note section data type will be memo and I can also have a section for picture and the data type will be OLE object so this is good enough I'm gonna hit save I'm gonna switch to the data sheet view and I'll just type someone's name say Jason Fink date of birth 01 February 79 okay and I can expand this column so I can see the whole thing now we see in the parents I see the drop down button because this field is related to the field in the first table when I click it I can see the name so say this person's parent is Mary Fink and I can make notes and I can right click in the picture and I can insert a object create from file browse and then wherever the picture is so I'll just cut one around somewhere okay and I can keep adding more so let's see I'll just find something else make up a date and I choose the parents name uh, oops uh, I told wrote the wrong same name that's fine I'll change it <coughs> to for example Okay, so I've entered this. I'm going to hit save just to be on the safe side and close this table. Now, let me show you what happens when I open the contact list. And you see the plus signs next to every name? So when I click on the plus sign for Mary Fink, now I see Jason Fink is Mary Fink's name uh, and the date. And if there was a picture, that is there. So this is the benefit of doing relationships. As I was giving the example of the banks and the uh, telecommunication company, so when they go to your customer info, you click on the plus sign, they can see your whole history, all the products that you have with the company. And this is why database became so popular in the world. And even today, you hear about Oracle and nowadays SAP, which is a form of a collection of database and manipulating stuff, which is getting very popular out there and let's just do a form and I'm gonna use the wizard to create the form and what I can do is if I want it I'll choose the contact list one add all the fields and I can choose the kids list and add all the fields so now I have two information in one form I click next and it's asking me that it's gonna show up like this and with a sub form or you want a linked form which will be like this so sub form is form fine next next different designs what it will be called and I can click finish so here it is I can enter information I can look at the first table and I can also look at the second table as I'm doing my work so these is linked to each other next record next record now you see when I come to this one which is Mary Fink I can see the child's name here so now this is two forms joined together and you also have still have the option to edit and make changes to the design view of your form and make it look like the way you want to whichever way you want to make it look okay and the same thing you can when you run queries you can create queries by adding different fields using the wizard so you can add fields from contact list one and you can also add fields from contact list two so let's do a quick one uh, I'll add first name last name telephone number date of birth and I'll add kids list child name date of birth next next finish so now I can see the results so it's a combination of two different information okay. 
and the same thing in reports I can double click on create report by using wizard I can choose contact list one and I'll say you know what show me the first name last name their telephone number and then I want the kids name and their date of birth click next and it will show up like this or you can change it to the kids list like this so it will show everything in line click next 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 we can make it landscape next next and finish so now I have the first name and last name of the parent I have the telephone number and I have the child name so because I've only entered two names in the kids list I haven't related to any more people so I get both of their names and their birth dates it's a long format and now if you wanted you could go back to tools database utilities switchboard manager edit and now you can add new and you can say let's add open report and the kids list so now I added a new button for opening oh I didn't give it a proper name I think I need to give it kids list and I can move it up so you can go back and add more buttons okay just to show you let's see forms switchboard and there it is kids list click it and it opens the report close and I'll close this too now if you wanted to look at the relationships so sometimes you get to a database and you don't know what's going on to see the relationship, you just look for this button here which says relationship. Click it. And for some reason it didn't show up. So I'm just going to click show table. And I'm going to add the kids list. And close it. Usually it should show up. There is my relationship, you see. Showing me that it is connected to each other. The parents is connected to this, to the names. You can click on it right click on it edit relationships and there are some options there are some different types of join type we can look into it a little bit more detail and there is an option called enforce referential integrity I'll just explain to you very briefly so say for example in this contact list I have a telephone number and in the kids list also if I have a field called telephone number if I enforce the referential integrity it will try to verify that the telephone number in both the tables are exactly the same and it will give you a warning or it will make certain changes if it doesn't match because you are saying enforce it if you don't enforce it then it can have two different telephone numbers in two different fields okay and when you do it you get these options on the bottom what you can do okay and you could always right click on it and delete this relationship if you didn't need it and uh, the other way also to create a relationship is to just drag and drop the information on it like you drag it and drop it and you just click create and the relationship is created the other way is a little bit easier to do that say yes to saving it um, I believe I've actually covered all the important elements that you need to know in terms of looking for a work and telling people that you know Microsoft Access 2003. I also have the Office 2007 version, which is just the buttons have been moved around. The concepts are exactly the same. Thank you for watching. I'm going to create a new table to show you the idea, but let's understand the basic concept behind relational database. I'm not an expert on this, but I want to give you an enough introduction that you understand the concept. Uh, say for example you work uh, you have a cell phone you have a internet connection and you have a cable connection and you also have a home phone and information about customers address and things like that then they'll have another table which will be for internet connection and details about your plan and the price and service started and all of that stuff another table for cell phone another table for home phone and all of these tables are connected to your customer information table so that when somebody 
Hello everyone. So this will be the sixth video in the series for Access 2003 and most probably the last video. In this video I wanted to introduce to you the concept of relational database. Uh, you'll find that in the real world uh, very few companies and uh, people would tend to have only one table in their database. Usually uh, there will have bunch of tables. There will be like combinations of tables and fields from one table will be connected to another one. So first I'll go ahead and open my file, the contact list, and I'll click open and I've got my switchboard which I talked about in the fifth video. I'm just going to close this and what I'm going to do is all of them is with one company. So if you decided to change your address or any information you don't have to call all the four different departments. You only have to call one time and they make one change and all the departments are updated. And the reason why this works is because they have a separate table for a customer information. So in that table they only have information.